So the pre-order UCL Hero Pack is finally out. Let's open up a bunch of these and see what we get. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Ultimate Team coins, check out MMOEXP.com. Link in the description. Save 5% using code HABER. In terms of the best that you can get, you've got Ramirez, Company, Schneider, Tevez, Bompaster. I think Viali deserves to be in that shout as well. And then some of the worst ones, you got Beasley, Carnu. Litman and Berbatov and Rosicki. And to be honest, I don't think Rosicki and Berbatov are that bad. EA, please. Ramirez, Company, Tevez are the ones I want the most. Or Berber. I'd happily take Berber. Here we go. Come on. Who are we getting, EA? In our first one, French. Left back. I'll happily take a Bonpasteur. Happily. That is good, if you ask me. I'm quite happy with that. That card looks solid. 90 pace, 85 shooting, 88 uh, passing, 89 dribbling, 85 defending. 77 physical now i don't know if these cards will ever be in normal packs or whether they are just available via these packs i don't know if ea will ever do a little promo or ucl maybe road to the final where ea drop these in packs i don't know but if not i am very happy to have this card untradeable in my club oh it's tiago um not really sure how i just did that Uh -huh. Well, these dropped a bit early, so I'm, I'm guessing they're bugged. But I'm very happy with that. That is solid, man. All right, next up, we've got Lala's Untradeable UCL or UCL Women's Hero Pack. Here we go. Come on. Good nation, please. Come on. Thomas Rosicki. I don't think this one's that bad, but I don't think it's great, sadly. Um, I think the stats are okay for this stage of the game, but the problem is give it... I looked at the wrong wrist for my watch. Give it like three weeks and, and like you'll just have so many cards better than this card, man. It's just the, the power curve just goes like that and this card just stays here. You know what I mean? It's just unfortunate. On to my second account now. Let's see which untradeable UCL or UWCL card we get on this account. Now, this could shape this account, you know. This really could. Here we go. Come on. <clears throat> Ooh. Viali. I'm I'm quite happy with that. This card is so much better than his like his normal hero. His normal hero is very underwhelming in my opinion. But this card is class. Absolutely class. Now I don't know what value this card would have in like the market if it was just available in packs, but those stats are nuts, man. Those stats are absolutely nuts. We don't know his skill moves and weak foot yet, do we? Or do we know them? I don't really know. I've just looked on Footbin for them, but I can't find it. And obviously, the stats aren't working because he's got released early. I'm really happy with that. Viali's fantastic, man. Get in there. I'm buzzing about that. Come on. All right, my boy Dylan's pack. Come on, EA. Let's continue with the good luck. Viali, the last one. Come on, good nation. I, I would be buzzing. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's not my account. I would be over the moon with Berber. I'd love to use Berbatov in a Man United Pass and Present team. I've been waiting for him to be in the game for so long. I don't know why it's so blurry. I think it's just the internet. But I've been waiting for him in the game for so long. It's just a shame that it's not on my account, that. And I want to say as well, sorry, sorry, I know you want to see packs, but I just want to quickly give a shout out. This card design is sensational. Absolutely sensational. All right, come on, EA. I want to see Argentina, Brazil, or Belgium. Those three are the ones I want to see the most. Obviously, Ramirez, Tevez, Company. For me, are the three most exciting ones. Obviously, Tevez because he's ex-United. And I watched a lot of company in Tevez growing up. And then, obviously, Ramirez. Because if you played FIFA 13, you probably know how good Ramirez was. He was just a baller back in the day. His gold card. All right, here we go. Come on. Who is it going to be? French. Left back. Bomb Pasteur again. For the second time of the video. Again, not a bad card at all. Not a bad card at all, to be fair. We'll take that. Um, 89 rated and... Good links as well, being French. So we're happy with that. All right, my boy Nick's pack on Xbox now. We're watching it via the Xbox, which is why it's oddly sized. It's going to be a Nigerian centre forward by the name of Kanu. At least his card looks a, quite a bit better than his base hero card, but it's still not It's still not great, is it? It's still not great. That is probably the worst one you can get, in my opinion. Maybe Litmanen's worse? I would say that's the worst one you can get, though. All right, we go again. We go again. It's fine. We go again. We're getting something good here. I can feel it. Come on. Here we go. You think Beasley's the worst one? I think Beasley's more usable, though. Rizitsky again. For me, I think Beasley's more usable than, than Carno. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Beasley or Carno? Who do you think is the more usable? 
I gotta say as well, right? The dynamic images on these cards are sick. I wish we got more of this, man. I don't understand why we need... Like, why do we need to only get these, like, once a year in these certain, like, um, like, free hero packs? Why can't EA drop a promo and give us, like, cartoon images and stuff? All right, next up. Come on, EA. Will we get a Ramirez company or Tevez today? English. Right back. Ooh, Scott. Alex Scott. Is it Alex Scott? I think it's Alex Scott. Okay. What do we think? Um... What do we think about that? I think that's pretty good. I think that's at least usable. Looks all right. Nothing special. I think she's decent. The thing about left backs and right backs is like, I think they're usually, for me, the last position that I look to upgrade in a team anyway. So, 91 stand tackle, 83 defensive awareness, relentless plus jockey anticipate whipped pass, four star weak foot, three star skills. That's not bad in my opinion. Not bad at all. Orm Settelig. UCL slash UWCL held for best. Hopefully we get the best one. Fingers crossed. Who have we got here, EA? England again. Is that going to be a back-to-back -back Scott? Could be McManaman, right? It's back-to-back -back Alex Scott. I mean... You know, I think she's decent. I think we've decided, like, Bombastor and Scott are not bad. But... Not super excited, I guess. All right, next unsettling UCL slash UWCL help. Come on. Another Viali. Let's go. Apparently, these will be in packs. I've just been talking to the chat, and apparently, these will be in packs. I'm really interested to see the price of some of these cards when they do eventually go in packs. I'm interested to see what EA... Sorry, not what EA. What the market has to say for some of these cards, because that card looks sick, in my opinion. All right, we're doing some filler content as well. I might as well. I can't resist. I shouldn't open it. I really shouldn't, but I cannot resist. SEN is class. I'll take that. SEN is the first icon. It's class. I can't resist, man. I can't resist. I am a DGen. Cannot resist. Who else have we got? SEN and... Is that Desai? Ah, it's not Desai. Oh, God. Oh, no. Well, this might be my last video. I may be cancelled. This may be the last video on the channel. And if it is, make sure you guys leave a like. Uh, SCN's class. I'm very happy with SCN. SCN's a W. Joel Linton in the pack as well, who I've already got on tradable, which is a bit of a shame. 40k worth of value, pretty much down the drain. But that was decent. That was that was pretty decent. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, what else we got? We've got the Deluxe 86 plus. I want to open the player picks, though. The Encore player picks. I know they were bad, but like, surely one of them's got to pay out sooner or later, right? Dodo in this one. Surely, if we open enough of these, sooner or later, we're going to get something good. Surely. All right, here we go. We get ourselves some good fodder, you know? All right, I've gone and crafted all five of my 85 plus player picks I can open, and also my campaign pick. So, 85 plus player picks first, Joe Gomez. What do we think? That's not bad at all, to be fair. This card's solid, man. This card is absolutely solid. I don't know if he's worth anything. Worth like 30, 40k. It's tough right now because this promo, like, just all the special cards are so cheap. But that's a sick card. In November, if you give me that card in November of any other FIFA, like we're talking hundreds of thousands. You know what I mean? FIFA, I don't know, FIFA 19, for example. That card in November would have been like 300k. At least. It's a shame, isn't it? But it's how the game is now. You can't really fight it. All right. Well, we've got good fodder so far. Can we get like a an icon? I'll take a Cruyff. <laughs> James Ward-Prowse special card. I don't know. I think I've got him untradeable. I'm going to take Trippier. I mean, Edelman Towers there as well, but I've got him untradeable too. And the last one of the 85 plus player picks is going to be uh, Saigankov. Saigankov. I mean, he should get upgrades. Girona are very good. Girona should be uh, Athletic Bilbao tonight at home as well. Um, oh, it doesn't even matter because it's it's Man United's games anyway. Well, Man United have got to win, got to win a couple more games then. <laughs> we already won one, by the way. We already we we beat we beat Everton. So yeah, we need to we, we need to beat two more games and start getting off get some upgrade for some reason. All right, here we go with the um, campaign pick next. What we got? Conor Gallagher. 
Yeah, no. Not great. Not great. I mean, I'll take I'll take two Thunderstrucks out of my 585 plus picks, though. 